Pierlock. I just want to begin by saying that I, I just find it so sad and frustrating that deputies came into this chamber, one deputy in particular, and made very wild accusations and damaging my reputation by saying that this was coming from a businessman. I can assure everybody here in this house it absolutely did not. I have conscientious objection. As does my colleague beside me. We were forced out of that party that you represent. And how dare you come in and try and destroy me and my character and make accusations like that. Now I'll continue on because I believe, I believe there should be respect shown here. I uphold fully the principles of equality. There are those of us who are taxpayers that have stated we're very strongly opposed to abortion. Hundreds of thousands of those are women. And we all know that 723,000 people voted no, including, in, you know, there's people with objections to this that were yes voters. I'm merely, as a representative, trying to convey those problems, those issues, those concerns that people have. And I'm being obstructed in this chamber from doing my work as a representative. And I think it's a disgrace. And I just want to put that on the record. Next, I just want to raise a few brief points in a respectful manner. We are told that the cost of abortions will be a very small percentage of public spending. If victims were anyone... Yeah. Yeah, I just want to make one very quick, it's two sentences. Okay. To if victims please. were anyone other than unborn children, no such point would ever be raised. It's not much of a point, Minister, when 100% of the cost of abortions would be paid by taxpayers. Those of us who have serious conscientious objection. But then again, two of us here have left our party because of conscientious objection. And if Fine Gael TD ahead of us has also done the same, that shows the lack of respect and regard for those pro-life TDs in this can, chamber. Can I ask you to move the adjournment, please, Deputy? I move. Thank you.